quick estimate this morning before we hop into the fun. Trying to beat the heat. So, customer here currently has a company. I don't know who. Didn't ask. She just called and said, uh, you know, trimming wasn't being done to her liking, which typically that would be trimmed. <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Mowing doesn't look horrible. So, it goes to that garage just behind the garage just behind the garage to the cornfield so just under two acres i believe she said we will double check that with the element software like always so pretty much just looks like this thing's being mowed one way uh this is typical for some properties guys just because it could add a half an hour on going say side to side compared to running this thing long ways because this thing's long it's not wide so i'm gonna walk around this garage real quick kind of take a peek that's a good good hillside too so we're we're parked up there looks like a well yeah that's a well had to have a new well put in so a good way to just kind of follow it is the stripe and that'll take you right to the property line so man this baby runs right up to the next house so right to there boom literally all right so i'm not gonna walk away down there i can see playset swing sitting area like a little burn pit but that looks like it's concrete so not too big of a deal just mow around it trim around it uh one two three you're just really looking at obstacles how many things you're gonna have to trim guys i can see what she's talking about with the trimming not being done uh to her standards i guess you could say the mowing looks fine i think the mowing looks okay just the a little lightning bug friend the trimming Bunch of sticks laying there. I've seen far worse haunt you. Yeah. <laughs> like a little walking path through there, kind of hidden. So, we kind of got what we need. That's all bed. Not really going to worry about much of that. So what we do is we'll take the property size just because guys you cannot take people's word on exactly what the size is because they can say oh I have two acres well you know you go to plug it into the element software and they're accounting for say the house the garage it could be everything so it could really come out to like one one and a half acres you just don't know but taking a half an acre off of mowing and trimming is a price difference so it's being it's being accurate for the customer and it's also being accurate for the business in our time because with the element software guys got to tell you it's an ad but plugging all your stuff in our truck gets paid for being here our mowers get paid for being here our trailer now it's very minimum but save that money so that we recoup our investment at the end so Say the trailer sits here for an hour, the truck sits here for an hour, it might only be like a dollar, two dollars, whatever, but that adds up throughout the year and over the years. And then whenever you go to rebuy or re-upgrade some equipment, you have money sitting there. Thank you. Anyways, guys, good morning. How are you doing on this beautiful, beautiful Wednesday, Wednesday morning. morning? Let's get to work, TQ. Let's do it. finished out looking good
Good job. Never quit even when you're slinging shh, dog poop. <laughs> <laughs> ready to go, TQ? I'm ready to go. Not much filming, but we're at the mobile home park. Gonna knock it out real quick. Great job, babe. So we couldn't hit the cracks this week. Just with the car here, there's a lot of rock in this. We don't want a chance taking a window out. Gotta be super careful. But TQ is talking with the neighbor real quick about getting some potential lawn care. Good, good. Yep. Just met a young subscriber, Logan, his dad, and his little sister, Annie. Little sister Annie, they stopped by real quick, they passed her. Coming down the road. <laughs> yeah, that popped loose. Anyways, I want to show you this spot over here. A neighbor came out and wanted to talk about getting some landscaping done. So that's the third person that's came out today while we've been working and asked us about doing more work. It's like there's just not enough work workers. <laughs> but uh wanted to show you this area and what we're thinking. So Right here we have it. So looking at it guys, we were possibly thinking it was bent grass, okay? This grass is exactly the same as that grass, okay? There's some green in it, some brown in it, but this grass, is no different than that grass, just simply the color. So what we think, 100%, this is a furt burn, uh, chemical burn, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, it was applied too heavy in this area and it burned this spot up. So I'm gonna get to mowing. I'm gonna tell the customer that's what we think it is. I don't see a fungus in it. Uh, the things that we've looked up, it doesn't appear to be bent grass. Uh, yeah, that's just where we're at right now. It does look better than last week. It's actually getting some green back into it. So that's good and possibly could have a little bit of hope. Uh, but yeah, I would say it would be bent grass if it was a different style grass. But this grass is exactly the same. is that just simply that's brown so that's what's going on with this homeowner's yard uh, guys got it mowed out here made it look as best we can after mowing it that spot actually looks a lot better
break with the Spencers. <laughs> and it's kind of odd, but uh, we got a call yesterday for a new job and we come in here to get lunch and the customer that called is sitting right beside us. She's like, coincidentally, I just called you guys yesterday to get some work done. Beef and cheddar south. Well, sporadic rain shower. We'll take it. We will take it. We will take it. We will take it. We'll take it so we'll the grass. I think it's all fine. And we'll love it. Real quick guys, get asked almost every day what size the trailer. Trailer is a seven by 16. We can fit two multi-forces and a grandstand which are exactly the same length, no difference in them. So you could put three multi-forces or three regular grandstands, whatever you want on here. Uh, equipment defender racks all the way around. Currently on the trailer we have the 294s, the My90, and the 131R combi system and BR600 and BR800 on the front of the trailer there. We got Mrs. Cone and our gate has a 14 or 16 inch extension. I don't remember exactly, but sure can gas cans. Yes, TQ coming through. Huh? Yep, I already got those. Yep, equipment defender utility rack. And, uh, yeah, I think this is going to be the last one for the day because we got a ton of rain coming. I hear thunder off in the distance. Do you? Yeah. But got it whipped back into shape, knocked the ditch out real quick, and uh, yeah, let's see what else we get into, huh? Yeah, let's go. All right, guys, so waiting on the customer to respond, I texted her and told her I was here uh, so she can walk and show me exactly what she wants done. Lawn care, I know for sure, but also a big landscaping job as well so just waiting for her to respond real quick they're gonna walk this property but this crazy storm is almost to us so probably gonna end up calling it after this one it's 228 right at the moment 228 at the moment 228 228 all right guys so we actually had to call that estimate real quick tq had the customer on the phone and she was explaining exactly what she wanted done but the tornado siren started going off in the area our phone started going off so we, uh, we're hightailing it out of here. The last thing we want to do is get caught in a tornado storm or a tornado, but uh, or a bad storm. So, and then the thunder, all of, literally the chickens all jumped. Did they? Like four feet it's close. We got home just in time. The mama, good looking hair. That's called hat hair. But got me an Amazon package. Don't know what it is. It's actually for TQ, like always. Get some bills here. Let's see what kind of bills we got. 
literally shows the storm like on top of us right now so here comes the rain and i got a bunch of junk mail didn't even have time to unload the trailer just yet hi teddy you ready for the storm 